we got some real talk today y'all i am spilling some what i'm calling dirty little secrets of entrepreneurship i recently hosted a clubhouse room about this with a friend jennifer and i am spilling the dirt today have y'all ever heard that quote that you have as many hours in the day as beyonce yeah so i don't agree with that and i am gonna give y'all the dirt and the scoop on why i don't agree with that so let's dive in and i'm going to cover it all on today's video all right y'all so for those of you that are new here i'm nicole saunders welcome to my channel i'm a personality and strength space business coach for female identifying entrepreneurs and what that means is i help you take the lens and the frameworks of the mbti and the enneagram and use your innate strengths to grow the business of your dreams and to recalibrate and get off that rat race wheel so you can do the things you were put on this earth to do but today's video is all about that myth that we keep hearing that we have the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce. And while that's true, we do technically all have 24 hours in a day. I'm not disputing that. We don't have access to some of the things that Beyonce has access to. And if you do, you're probably not watching this video right now. Am I right or am I right? Full disclaimer, I'm not a Beyonce hater by any means. I think she's an amazing woman and she's doing amazing things in her industry and she deserves the respect that she's gotten. And there's no disputing that y'all, like literally she's incredible. But the thing is there's this myth and I don't buy into it. So yes, we all do have those same 24 hours, but when we keep hearing those quotes, especially as entrepreneurs, we start getting in that comparison trap. And that comparison trap will take us down a bad spiral. We start getting in shame. We start self-sabotaging. We start thinking we're not good enough. We're not worthy enough. And y'all, that is further from the truth than anything. Because the thing is, Beyonce has access to all these things that we, I know particularly I, do not have access to. So, you know, she has an incredible amount of wealth, but she also has, you know, all of this access. So she probably has a nanny. She has a hairstylist. She has a, an outfit stylist, a fashion stylist. She has all of these things that we don't have. A gym, uh, you know, she probably has a home gym, but she probably has a personal trainer that comes to her house. She has a chef. She has all of these things, personal assistant, executive assistant, you know, all the things that, that is nice. And I'm not faulting her for having that. But what happens is we start this self-sabotage road and we don't need to go down that as entrepreneurs. When we are truly in aligned with our business and doing what we were put on this earth to do, we need to find the places where we can build in this space where we can have the freedom to, you know, binge read a 700 page novel. Not that I'm speaking from experience. Yes, I am. I'm obsessed with fantasy romance novels. If y'all don't know that yet, hello, welcome to my life. I have been binge reading some, some things. As I was saying, the thing is, we do not need to continue to work and work and work and work and just grind out all of this stuff because we think if we continue to burn the candle at both ends and continue to burn the midnight oil, you know, all the metaphors, that we're going to be better and more successful in this and this. But y'all, we were not put on this earth to sit at an aluminum box to continue to work. We should not be chained to our desk. We should not be chained to this work. We should be doing this work because we enjoy it and because it brings us freedom and money. So that money also brings us freedom and we're able to get back and do the things that we want to do. And I know there's always like, oh, money can be evil and this and that. And we should, it leads to greed and what but y'all money does give you access it gives you the power to do the things that you need to do to give back and whatnot but we cannot just keep burning ourselves out because there's these quotes on the internet that are supposed to be motivational sure they're motivational you know and you know i think when we first start our journeys it's like okay oh that's really inspiring or oh i need to go to the gym like yes i can build in this time and when you flip the mindset of like i don't have the time well maybe it's that it's not worth the time to you you're not making it a priority and that's okay is it a priority is it a priority for me to sit on my phone and listen I mean, not that I'm listening that way, but listen to Clubhouse 
four or five hours a day when I have dogs that are four and five years old and they're not going to be on this earth for the rest of my life. Is it fair to them? Is it fair to your kids if you're constantly like, I got to get this done. Mommy's got to get this done real quick. Daddy's got to get this done. And always chasing the next thing. So I want to know y'all, when is the last time that you took a moment to celebrate your last accomplishment? or any accomplishment. You know, I just celebrated three years of full-time self-employment. I didn't even celebrate that. I didn't do nothing. I said I celebrated it, but I didn't. I just, I crossed that threshold. And then I was like, okay, what's the next thing? And I think this is really hard because as entrepreneurs, we were constantly chasing the next thing because we do all have those 24 hours in a day. But listen, if you are not sleeping, if you're not taking care of yourself first, you cannot put the oxygen mask on everybody else before you because eventually you're going to run out of oxygen and you're not helping anyone, especially not yourself. And I know that sounds crazy to be like, well, she's telling me to be selfish. Sure, I am. I am telling you it's okay to be selfish. And I know these things because I've had to do them myself, y'all. I'm not shaming or faulting anybody. This is just part of the system that we're in. And, you know, especially as entrepreneurs, we're competitive. We want that next thing. We want six figures. We want seven figures. Oh, okay, now we want 12 figures. Whatever. We're constantly chasing. We're not celebrating enough. And when you get your business in this alignment, when you get it in a place that you're not constantly on this rat race where it's like, well, everybody says I need a podcast now. Everybody says I need a course now. Everybody says I need a membership now. Everybody says I need this or this, this, this. Are you truly listening to yourself? Or are you again comparing to some quote, you know, again, whether it's the one about Beyonce having the same amount of hours in a day as you or not, are you doing that thing? Are you going down that comparison road? Because I'm here to tell you, you are going to burn out and I want you to prevent that. It is possible that you're going to just like, okay, yes, I'm in a season of growth and I need to do this and this and this, but then you need to take a slow season, build in some extra free time on your schedule, go hiking, go to the beach, go do the things that really light you up. We are not made to work all the freaking time y'all. We are not made to do that. We are human beings, not human doings. So again, I just want to clarify, I am not a Beyonce hater. This video is purely just me going off of something I recently experienced. I was on Clubhouse and we were in this um, dirty little secrets of entrepreneurship room that I hosted with a friend, Jennifer. And it's just so crazy to me that this rat race, this race of, I've got to be better than yesterday. I've got to do better. But when is good, good enough? When is better good enough? When are we ever truly going to be satisfied? And I think that's when we will start to understand that yes, we may have these same hours in a day. And yes, we may have, you know, an amazing business. But is it costing you your well being? Is it costing you your self care? Is it costing you time with your kids or your dog or your family or whoever? You know, so I want you to think about that. And again, I know that today's video was a little bit different. I just, it was on my heart and I felt like I needed to share. So I hope that you learned something or took something from this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. So I know to keep making content similar to this. And again, if you haven't checked out all my other videos, I would encourage you to go watch them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I want to keep hanging out with y'all here on my YouTube channel. I make videos similar to this, but more so they're usually about related to business, Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, and also some fun tutorials of some systems that I use like ClickUp and Flowdesk and Canva and all the fun things. So, all right, y'all, I hope again that you learned something from this video, but otherwise I will see y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.